Hello beautiful souls and welcome back to another tarot deck review. Today I am reviewing the best tarot. This is by Mike Costany. I think I'm saying that right. Sorry Mike if I'm not. Um, this deck is so cute. I haven't even opened it yet and I can already tell you it's so cute just because of the cover. I'm a mom and this just totally touches my heart. So the story behind this deck. Um, Mike actually reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review this deck. And when I checked out his website, it was just an automatic yes. Like I wanted to review this deck. It is so awesome. Um, and I asked him the story behind this. And this deck actually has a different artist for every single card. What they did is they gave a like a traditional Rider Waite Smith tarot card to the person, gave them a minute to memorize the card, and then they had to draw that card. And the artists on this deck, some of them are kids. Um, some of them are artists, some are adults who have never really drawn. There is just a wide range of people who created this deck, and it's all about their memory of what they picked up on the card. So I'm so excited to see, I'm so excited to see these cards. Okay, so the description of this deck is, the best tarot is the product of over 40 professional artists, amateur doodlers, and people who haven't attempted to draw since grade school art class. One of our artists hasn't even reached grade school. These folks were given 60 seconds to look at a classic tarot card, an unwieldy black marker, and a sheet of paper. Then they had to draw the card they had been looking at using only their memory as reference. Some artists executing most of the 60 second reference onto paper and some failing beautifully. The end product still maintains the concept of classic tarot, but when passing it through our faulty computers we call brains, something a bit different emerges from the symbolism. So anyways, let's just get into this. I'm so excited. I do want to put the disclaimer out that Mike did send me this, um, but I will always give you my honest review. If there's something I don't like about it, I'm going to tell you, and that's how I approach all of my reviews. Okay? So here we have the best tarot. And now it is unfortunate the box got a little dinged up in shipping. Um, it came perfectly protected in a padded mailer, but, you know, mail can be a little rough on items at times. So um, it just... It got a little dinged up, but that's okay because these style boxes do that anyway. Um, if you've seen any of my other reviews, you probably know that I do prefer a hard-sided box. But this is an indie artist or an indie creator. Um, and I've honestly looked into making my own tarot deck and I understand the cost savings of just doing it like this. Sometimes as an independent trying to put out a deck to get an expensive or a, a sturdier box more than doubles your production cost, which means you have to um, charge more for your product. So at, for an indie deck, totally okay with this. So here is the back of the box. It says the best tarot. Love it. I also love that this deck is just black and white. Um, a lot of decks use a lot of color, and I've been looking for a good black and white deck. Okay. So we have just, oh, there's a couple cards. What is the best tarot deck? Okay, so that's a little bit of, that's actually what I read off their website for you earlier. And then we have just some keywords, key phrases, I guess, for the major arcana and then the minor arcana as well. I actually really like 
that format. That is so simple and easy to see and to read. Um, if you're just looking for a quick reference that you want to use, I really like that. That is, that is really good. So here is the back of the cards. The cardstock is flexible. It's nice and thin, but it doesn't feel flimsy in any way. Feels nice and sturdy, actually. I love the richness of the pigmentation in the black. Sometimes blacks are not really black. They're more gray, but this is actually really nice. It's well printed. They are... They're not matte, but they're not glossy either. And they actually, as you can see, they're just sliding beautifully. They're not stuck together at all. Lovely cards. And now I normally do not show in entire tarot deck. Um, a lot of the time because of copyright, because as you guys know, I have compared a lot of fake decks to the real ones. And I don't want an entire deck to be shown on my channel so that people can steal them. Um, also, a lot of uh, manufacturers and publishers say you're not allowed to show an entire deck. It's against their copyright rules. I would like to show every single card in this deck because every single card has a different artist. But I am going to strategically have my hand and fingers on the cards so that uh, no one can get a screen grab of the entire card. So let's look at all of these cards. So we have the Fool. I love that little dog, that's adorable. The Magician. The High Priestess. That is a lot of detail in the card for only 60 seconds of being able to see that. We have the Empress. I'm gonna say that person has some artistic background just because of the, the way the face is done. <laughs> the Emperor. The Hierophant. The Lovers. The chariot. <laughs> I love how they have faces in the sun. The strength card. The hermit. It's amazing how such a very simple line drawing is still so effective in conveying the message. The wheel of fortune. Justice, <laughs> face, the hanged man, death, temperance, the devil, the tower, the star. The moon. I like that face in the background there. The sun. Judgment. The world. It these are honestly amazing. Um, you know what? I'm gonna challenge anyone who watches this video to pick a tarot card study it for 60 seconds, and then try and draw it. I want you to tag me over on Instagram um, if you do that, and then I can send them to the creator of this deck as well. This is awesome. The Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups. The Three of Cups. Four of Cups. There's clearly another artist with the Four of Cups. That's the face is really well done again. Not saying that any of the other cards are not well done. I am enjoying this deck um, more than words can say. <laughs> the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, <laughs> love those faces. 
the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, King of Cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles. I feel like the gentleman in this card here, he is totally representing the vibe of that card. That's awesome. The Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. That's a hard card. There's a lot of stuff going on in that card, and they did very well. King of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Four of Swords. Oh, look at the Five of Swords. That's clearly one of the younger artists. And again, as a mom, that's totally pulling on my heartstrings. Love that. <laughs> Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. That is some amazing detail. Um, does it say how long they were given? I know they could look at it for 60 seconds. I don't know how long they were given to actually draw the card. That's a lot of detail. Ten of Swords. King of Swords. Knight of Swords. Page of Swords. Queen of Swords. Ace of Wands. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. I like that. It's a totally different representation, but I love that so much. Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, King of Wands, our little Knight of Wands friend from the cover, Page of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. So that is the best tarot, and I think that is just, that is so fun. I love the concept. It's such a unique idea while using the classic imagery. I think it's a great idea. So let's see, how do they shuffle? They shuffle beautifully. Absolutely nothing wrong with how they shuffle. And actually, I didn't pull out a card, so let's see traditional writer tarot card and they are practically the same size millimeter difference let's see how they shuffle this way yeah, absolutely beautiful they shuffle so well so let's get a card shall we go with this one, the Eight of Pentacles, and let's look at their little sheet. What does the Eight of Pentacles say for them? Over careful to a fault. Yeah. Taking your time to really perfect your craft, but always knowing that sometimes, oh, what's the phrase? Um, perfection is the killer of good right? So we know that, you know, so many of us are perfectionists. So many of us want everything to be perfect and want to keep going and trying making it perfect and as best as we possibly can. But it's about knowing when we need to stop, knowing when it is good enough and knowing when we need to not be so hard on ourselves about attaining perfection. So, love it. <laughs> so that is my review of 
the best tarot. I will, that was, that was loud. I apologize. I will leave a link to the website where you can purchase this deck. Um, this is not affiliated in any way. I was gifted this, but um, the links are not affiliated in any way. If you enjoy this deck, please consider supporting an indie deck creator. And I'm so excited to be able to use this in upcoming readings. So I hope you enjoyed this review. If there are any decks that you would like me to review in the future, please let me know down in the comments. Or if you are an indie deck creator, whether it is tarot or oracle, please feel free to contact me if you want to be featured on a deck review. Love, light, and happiness to all of you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.